Developing tonight, a Grand Rapids teenager is safe and a man is in custody, accused of human trafficking. News 8's Brittany Flowers is in the newsroom right now with a closer look at how the girl was found, Brittany. Well, since it was formed back in February, the Kent County Human Trafficking Task Force has worked on dozens of investigations, but this is the first to bring formal charges. All it took was someone to speak up. I would say a significant portion of our investigations come to fruition in part because of a tip we received from the community. In October, the Kent County Human Trafficking Task Force got a tip that a 16-year-old girl was in trouble. We had to validate a lot of the information, but we were able to establish who this young girl might be and then indeed um, confirm that she was being trafficked by a 38-year-old man from Comstock Park. The initial investigation shows the man befriended the Grand Rapids teen in a public area. Sheriff Michelle LaJoy Young says he then started grooming her, eventually trafficking her online. The sheriff's office got word that the girl might be with a man in the Upper Peninsula. On October 12th, when the man tried to cross the Mackinac Bridge, a toll operator noticed someone hiding under a blanket in the back seat. They had been alerted that we were looking for this person, but she didn't see the, the victim. Instead, she saw something that didn't look right in that car and she reported it. After crossing the bridge, the man was stopped and arrested. Unfortunately, trafficking cases don't always end like this, which is why Sheriff LaJoy Young says it's so important to speak up. If it's something that you can't stop thinking about in your brain, do something about it. Call somebody in and report it. It can be a strange or controlling relationship, someone who's improperly dressed, not able to speak for themselves or use a phone, or even be seen much in public. The sheriff adds young people should be careful with the information they share. If you don't know this person, disclosing any details about yourself um, could be a risk. The 38-year-old man is facing charges of sexually abusive activity, human trafficking, possession of child abusive material, and using a computer to commit a, a crime. His name will not be released until he's arraigned. We expect that to happen tomorrow in the 63rd District Court. In the newsroom, Brittany Flowers, News 8.